what you want about Cadillac's recently reshuffled sedan lineup, you can't deny that they know how to do one thing right. Big, luxurious SUVs. The Escalade is a family-sized icon, and it's new for 2021. We're gonna show you everything you need to know, including a Super Cruise demo. Now, if you're curious about any specific part of the Escalade, just use the chapters function to skip around. And before we get too far along, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Motor One US channel and help us grow. You can also follow us on social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. If big and boxy isn't your thing, then you've definitely come to the wrong place. This SUV is taller and wider than it's ever been before. And although it retains the same general shape as the previous generation, the new Escalade is a lot sleeker looking, especially in the face. The Escalade comes with one of two styling packs, luxury or sport. Luxury is the more traditional looking with large sections of polished metal, including the wheels and around the grille. But this test car features the sport package, which bumps the price by about $10,000 and blacks out those big sections of metal. It looks striking, especially against the $1,200 crystal white paint. The majority of Escalades I've seen running around town have been the sport trim, so that leads me to believe it's been the most popular option among customers, at least so far. And I can't say I blame them. There's something about that big black grille that's just super intimidating on the road. Some smaller detail things. Door handles. I don't know why they have to be button activated nowadays. It just seems more complicated than it needs to be. That said, I do love when you open the door that these running boards pop out, ensuring even your smallest passengers and drivers get in without issue. The Escalade's tail lights do look pretty similar to the prior generation, but they look unique on the road. I like them a lot. The same can be said of these dual exhaust outlets that are done in black and this lower bumper piece that's done in black. In fact, the only what the F item on the entire rear of the car is this 600 badge right here. It represents the engine's output in Newton meters of torque, which is a figure that we don't even use in the United States. Yeah, that one's a head scratcher for sure. In the past, Escalade interiors have looked too similar to their Chevy Tahoe cousin. This time around, Cadillac went all out, and the Escalade is without a doubt the best cabin in the entire General Motors stable. It's the only American-made vehicle that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Range Rover, which is good, because it needs to. A lighter color scheme like this Whisper Beige interior, sorry, Whisper Beige, it might be a risky choice, especially if you have kids running around this thing but paying for the platinum trim means you get this really nice semi-aniline leather. So not only is it very soft and comfortable, it's been chemically treated to better stand the test of time. This car is over 4,000 miles on it. You know what? So far, so good. You also get with the platinum seats up front, 16-way power adjustability that comes with heating, ventilation, and a massage function. And last but not least, look at this wood trim. Sometimes high gloss wood looks tacky in cars, especially nowadays, but not this, not at all. It looks like a wooden candy cane, I love it. Captain's chairs are the way to go for the quickest access into the third row, but the second row of chairs is super easy to move with seats that slide back and forward, and a button that folds everything out of the way for even more room into the way back. Leg room for anyone south of six feet is fine in all three rows. The cargo area is deep enough to fit carry-on size suitcases with all the seats in place, and the third row is automated with a simple button press. If you really need more space, Cadillac still offers the even bigger ESV model. Credit where it's due, this whole screen within a screen situation is beyond cool. And these are full OLED displays, so they're so bright and vibrant, it pretty much rivals what you get on an iPhone, and I can't think of higher praise than that. It's broken into three different chunks. There's a center 17-inch display, a 14-inch digital cluster, and then a 7-inch side display that controls some of the stuff. We'll get into that in a bit. But look at this layout. Again, just like your iPhone, everything is a big, easy-to-follow app. There is a physical knob that you can use to control the screen just like this, and it has a home function, volume, but with the touchscreen so close to the driver, it almost seems redundant. You don't even need it. 
The tech in the Escalade is next level, and that's before we even get to Super Cruise. This display right here, it controls everything on the digital cluster. So you can start with your normal gauge, uh, you can have your music and your normal driving information. And then we can get to the more advanced things. You can bring up your map, and of course, if you're using navigation, have that right in front of the driver. Now the real cool stuff, augmented reality camera. You can use while you're driving along the highway, or if you happen to be parked at the beach, you can see it in front of you. And it even has night vision. It doesn't work during the day, but that's a $2,000 toy, albeit a useful one. The rest of the cabin also has its share of awesome tech, including a 36 speaker AKG sound system and two rear seat entertainment screens. We'll cover the safety tech in the Super Cruise demo next, but before we do so, the Escalade scores four out of five stars from the NHTSA. So finally getting this big barge on the road, you're immediately taken aback by how calm and subdued it is. And that's despite a 6.2 liter V8 under the hood, making 420 horsepower. It has less character than the Jeep Grand Wagoneer's Hemi V8, but you know what? This also gets quieter. It gets out of your way and just shuts up a little better than the Grand Wagoneer's engine. And that's ultimately what you want out of a big luxury SUV. Speaking of the Grand Wagoneer, that does out-tow this car just slightly. This is rated at 8,000 pounds with four-wheel drive and the upgraded tow package. Cadillac's magnetic ride control is fantastic out of the box, but when you get the platinum trim, you also get air ride suspension on top of that. It's like taking your favorite pillow and putting it on top of a really good mattress. You want both. It takes a lot to unsettle this car and knock it off of truly phenomenal ride quality across the board. And with massive side mirrors and a rear view mirror that's actually a camera feed, it's surprisingly easy to see out of this thing despite having really big D pillars at the back. That makes keeping the big Escalade in between the lane lines a breeze. Luckily, you don't always have to do that on your own. So the reason we waited to test this particular Escalade is because it comes equipped with Cadillac's Super Cruise system. So that's a driver assistance piece of technology and a lot of people kind of equate it to Tesla's autopilot, but there's a big difference in that Super Cruise actually allows you to drive on select pieces of highway when the systems are working, basically with the car doing the work. You do have to pay attention, you do have to stay alert and make sure you're you know, looking forward, but the car is steering, the car is keeping itself in the lane, and the car is accelerating and decelerating as you need. And activating it is pretty easy. So you turn on the adaptive cruise control, you set your speed to you know, an appropriate speed in traffic, and then you hit this little button right here, and suddenly the steering wheel turns green, and the car is going for it. So the way Super Cruise works is this big, green strip is looking back at me. If the car suddenly decides it wants to stop doing this, a big giant alert is going to pop up on the dashboard and I have to take over control again. There's also sensors right here watching my every move. So if I'm suddenly on my phone or talking to my passenger for too long, it will also cancel out the system. But as we've been testing it throughout the week, we've been keeping our hands off the steering wheel for five, ten minutes at a time. It's pretty cool. And actually, you know, being a bit leery with how these systems are working, I'm really impressed by how easy it is. You can also have the system do a lane change just by tapping the signal. And there you go, it changes lanes and it tells you when it's completed. That's awesome. Super Cruise is a $2,500 feature, which, you know, is expensive, but it's kind of the highlight feature of the Escalade right now. You get three years of it free, and then after a three-year period, it's gonna be $25 a month. I wish that subscription fee wasn't part of it. You know, this is a $100,000 car. It should kind of just be all baked into it. But that said, just focusing on the technology, this is really cool, and it's completely worth it. Um, and we're happy to see that this technology is making its way to more GM vehicles. The Hummer EV is going to have it, the new Silverado is going to have it, so finally they're spreading it uh, as they've needed to for quite some time now. But look at this. If there's anything I had to complain about, it's that in a construction zone, uh, it'll kind of turn off without much warning and like, hey pal, you're on your own and you have to go back right away, but otherwise it's, it's doing it and it's doing it really without any issue. Um, 
Another caveat is that Super Cruise only works on stretches of highway that GM has gone and scanned. So you can't try it on any highway, but you know, most major stretches of freeway network in the country, they've done. And there you go, there's your little Super Cruise demo. Awesome piece of tech. The 2021 Cadillac Escalade scores an 8.8 .8 out of 10 on our star rating scale. That's better than both the Jeep Grand Wagoneer and the GMC Yukon Denali. Now, Escalade starts at $77,000, but this test car blows that out of the water. The Sport Luxury trim, which we've featured throughout this video, starts at $103,000. We have some pricey options on top of that. Super Cruise, the paint, and a heavy-duty trailering package, among others. All in, we're looking at 113 grand. It's not cheap, but that's what you pay for the best. And you know what? The Escalade is the best option on the road right now if you're dead set on skipping the Germans, like the BMW X7 and the Mercedes-Benz GLS. It's over the top, but it sticks the landing and all the things that it's supposed to. And that's why we love it. <laughs>